Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This is the week of July 11th, 2022, and we've got four stories this week. The first one is actually all of them have cool videos, but uh, the first one is somebody landing an aircraft on a turning highway in North Carolina. They did a pretty good job at this. Uh, the second one is a sad one. This is an old story from 2018 where a baggage handler uh, stole an airliner, and then, well, you'll see what happens. Um, we also have Van, the uh, aircraft manufacturer that unveiled a new first high wing prototype. This is really exciting. And then lastly, Pilot Institute is uh, getting an anniversary. So we'll talk about all the stuff we've accomplished. Let's get to it. First thing this week, this video came up in my feed uh, not too long ago, and this is something that happened in uh, near Sandlin Bridge in North Carolina. And this is the pilot of an Aero Com Commander 100. Uh, there's not a whole lot of those left flying around. Uh, it's a twin aircraft, uh, uh, twin engine aircraft, uh, landed on the highway, Highway 74. And in the video, you can see that the aircraft is descending rather quickly, uh, flying on top of cars, and then there's a turn coming on the highway. I was kind of at the edge of my seat as, as I was seeing this happening, and there's a pretty wide long turn. A uh, pilot did a great job at landing this thing right on the highway. Uh, for a while they get on the other side of the road but the, the car uh, coming on the, in the other direction uh, tries to avoid them and then eventually they end up being on a on a turn off of uh, of the the highway and then just park the aircraft right here. Now, it was interesting to see because uh, the engine was still actually turned on. They were able to taxi a little bit with that engine. Uh, what the pilot reported is that the engine was losing a ton of power. So it'll be interesting to see what happened to the engine. Uh, both the pilot and the passenger were uninjured, and uh, that's the way that we like to see uh, landings and reporting uh, this information on the show. Next story is uh, kind of a sad one, unfortunately. This happened in 2018, and you may remember because this was uh, pretty much all over uh, the uh, the news, but a baggage handler from Horizon Airlines uh, was able to steal a Q400 aircraft. Now, Q400 is a large uh, twin turbine aircraft uh, that was back in Seattle, and um, new footage kind of resurfaced this week showing what happened behind the scene, and uh, this was obtained by KOIN, which is a station up there, and and they show the employee basically checking in for their day and looks like everything is normal. And then later they see their security camera shows that uh, that employee gets with a tug trying to push that aircraft, that Q400, uh, back. Now they try several times. They, they, they go, they do it, they try several, two or three times. They leave and then come back. And then eventually on the third attempt, you see that person, uh, that employee getting into the aircraft. And it looks like he's going through the procedure to basically start the engine. Uh, he's able to start both sides of the engine. They're still spinning. He gets off the plane pushes the aircraft back, gets it on the taxiway, takes the tug out, and then here you can see the airplane slowly moving, uh, and then he runs around, opens the door, gets back in the aircraft, and then lines up on the taxiway. At this stage, nobody is realizing what is uh, what, what is happening. Aircraft on Charlie, uh, lining up runway 16 center, say call sign. That aircraft was passing behind the, uh, the horizon when he was taking off roll, and I don't know what he was doing. Who's the aircraft on runway 16 center? Seattle ground, uh, horizon guy, um, about to take off, it's gonna be crazy. Um, he gets between two aircraft, um, ignores towers. Tower gets really confused because they can't figure out who just took off because they weren't talking to anyone. And then when they realize that tower calls uh, F-15s to be scrambled to go follow this guy. And um, the, the radio is really, really sad because uh, this person is obviously not looking to hurt anyone. He's just something happened in his head, and and he he just he, he just broke, and uh, he's he's trying to do maneuvers with this thing. He's asking questions as to uh, if this will do a loop, this will do different things. So the F-15 is going to stay next to him for a while. Uh, he's flying over the river, uh, flying extremely low at one point when he's coming out of a of a loop. It looks like, and then eventually after 73 minutes of flight, he crashes into a small island and um and and just a really really sad story all in all and um but it was i thought it was interesting to see what the, the behind the scene was where you can see that really no one pays attention to what he's doing and then when he's up in the air he's just kind of doing his thing until uh, he decides that it's over so um next story is kind of a bit more joyful 
Uh, this is the company van that creates uh, the RV series. You've probably seen these uh, RV-10 and a bunch of different aircraft out there. These are kit uh, airplane that you can buy and, and build and then fly. Uh, they created quite a bit of a buzz this week by releasing their first high wing tail wheel uh, prototype called the RV-15. This was a YouTube video that they posted. Uh, as I checked last time, it had like 55,000 views, which is pretty good for uh, a fairly small airplane company. Uh, in, in a few days. Uh, the aircraft, they said, will be unveiled fully at AirVenture in Oshkosh on July 26. Uh, they posted a subsequent video two days ago that shows, well, two days from I'm recording, so four days from when you'll see it, uh, that releases, that shows the aircraft in the hangar during a, an employee party. And uh, the aircraft is sporting much larger wheels in this case, uh, showing that this thing can probably land uh, outside on um, on a, uh, a wild runway in the middle of nowhere. We think this is pretty cool. Uh, this is the first time Van is coming up with a high wing design. A lot of people seem to be pretty excited about this, uh, hoping to get something even larger uh, being able to be built. These aircraft are fairly popular with people that build airplanes. They're experimental aircraft. So uh, if you want more information, we put a link down in the description to the video and maybe even to uh, their website so you can see what they're offering. Last story this week, this one I'm really excited about. Uh, this is our third year anniversary here at Pilot Institute. Uh, we just published a new tour of our facility. We actually flew a drone uh, from the outside to the inside, kind of going around, uh, showing you kind of the behind the scene, especially on this set here uh, where we record our content every week and then uh, other places here in the studio. So if you're interested in this, we'll put a link uh, up here. But uh, in the last three years, we've been able to accomplish quite a bit. Uh, we have uh, 167,000 students in the system now, uh, 252,000 course enrollment. So a lot of you that are buying the course also enroll in other things. Uh, we've been able to train 13,000 uh, airplane pilots, either doing private or doing instrument. Uh, our average score in the exam is much higher than the FA average with 92%. Uh, our pass rate I just calculated today is 99.996%. So only about a four hundredth of a percent of you actually fail the exam, which is quite amazing. Uh, we've completed a lecture every 10 seconds in the system since we started three years ago. So if you think about if you're a student and you're watching a lecture or video on our system, every 10 seconds somebody does that. That's 9.3 million lectures uh, completed since uh, inception, which is amazing. Uh, we have 29 courses in our catalog and we have three more coming right around the corner. And also we have a lot more airplane courses coming out soon. Uh, I know we've been spending a lot of time on the drone side, but we're also really excited to release new courses on the airplane side. Uh, we just finished recording one uh, last week with a guest instructor, so I'm excited to be unveiling this very soon. Uh, we've also issued a lot of continuing education credits because a lot of you get your private pilot license or your instrument rating, and then after that receive actual uh, credits. So uh, we've uh, issued 894 continuing education credits in the last 12 months. Uh, our YouTube channel is growing, not only this one, but the other one that we have as well, and then another uh, third channel that we have for the Pixel Drone Show, and uh, that's 58,000 followers that are uh, watching 8.5 million views uh, since we started. So thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. We also appreciate your reviews. We have 15,000 reviews out there uh, with an average of 4.9 out of 5. So uh, we love our customers. We love our viewers on YouTube. And we always appreciate you uh, leaving a comment and uh, interacting with us every week. And uh, that's it. With this, I'll say thank you. And we'll see you guys next week.